taking our spreadsheet data and accessing it as an object. And then as we got the data, as we've received the data, then we're going to be lastly outputting it onto the web page. And this is all live data that's coming from the spreadsheet and we're adding it into our web page using JavaScript. And this is just front end code. So this is coming up in this lesson. Let's go back into our HTML. We're going to create a page element. So this can just be a div and this is going to be serving as our main container where we're going to add content into. I'll just give it a class of output. We'll select it from the JavaScript code and this is going to give us a spot where we can output that content into. Assign the page element objects using the document query selector, selecting the element from the page with a class of output. So that will give us with uh, that element within a usable format. And then within output, we're going to cr actually create a separate div. And this div can be where we can add in the content. So using the document element, and we'll just create an element into there. And that element is going to be a div. And we'll do that within a function within the JavaScript code. So once we've got the object data, we'll create a function called maker. And the maker will just retrieve back the data. And then from here, we can create the div. And then within the div, this is where we're going to add the content. So we can take the output element and append the div to the output element. And now that we've got the JSON data that's being passed into the maker object, we can loop through all of the JSON data. So using the for each. And for now, we'll just log out each one of the elements before we add them to the page. And so we've got the property name and the value that we have for the property. Let's get the keys out and we'll just uh, set an object called keys. And this is going to be coming from the object. This is using the object keys method. We need to specify the object that we want to use. And that's going to be the element. And we'll console log out the value of keys. So that gives us an array of each one of the keys. So that's something that we can then loop through and get the values where we'll create an element, create the element. And this can be another div that's going to be sitting within the main div. And then for each one of the elements, We'll add in the text content for the element. And that's going to be coming from the keys value. So we need to loop through keys using for each. And this is where we can pull out the value of each one of those. So let's move the element creation into that variable. And now within the value, Actually, this should still be key. And within the element key, that's where we're going to return him back the text content. And this is going to get appended to div, the element. And let me just update this because I was using L twice. So that should just be L. And we want to update some of the display properties for the div. Uh, so let's update the style and we'll do a display and set the display as grid. So we're going to use CSS grid. And then for the div style, to style the cells that are going to be within it, we can use the grid or did grid template columns. And that should be an equal sign. So that shows their content within nice evenly distributed columns of data. And this is again coming directly from the spreadsheet. Let's set some borders around each one of the elements. So using the style and set a border of one pick solid. And let's make a really light colored border. So each one of the cells then gets a border. If you want to add in the heading for that, we can set that as for the first time that it runs, we can just add in the key values. So let's add that in as well. And I'll set first to true. And here we'll do a Boolean to check to see if first. And if first is true, then we'll add that first row of keys as 
column headings. And we'll also set first to be false so that we can only run it one time. So that way we're going to be essentially toggling those values. And then for the keys, let's add in the keys as the heading values. So what we can do is once again, we can create an element and then that element will take the key value and we'll have to do a loop for this as well. So we can take keys and then for each. So this is setting up the heading values and I'll move this inside so that we can, as we loop through, we can set the value of each one of those as the heading and then this will just get appended to the top of the page. And we'll just save that. So that gives us the headings at the top. And then these you can apply some different styling to where we can take the element style and let's uh, set the background and then element style and I can set the color to be white so that we can distinguish the uppercase with the JavaScript uppercase. So that outputs the content on the screen. And again, this is coming from the spreadsheet. So if we make any updates to the spreadsheet and if we update some of these scores, then go back and refresh it. Now we get the new updated data coming again from the spreadsheet. So once it gets updated and we make the request, we can get that new value being updated and output into our web page. So that's how we can take the content from the spreadsheet object and build out so that we can have it visible within our HTML page. And now this is going to be sitting as HTML elements within the body. We've got the first row and then all the other consecutive rows of content after that.